Welcome back to Sustainably Yours and today we'll talk about how veganism appears more sustainable than it actually is. I don't know about you but my feed was filled with veganuary recipes in the beginning of the year probably because most of the content I consume has to do with food and lately a lot of it has been vegan even though I literally eat all kinds of meat besides like insects and reptiles and humans and uh, dogs and cats yeah in case you don't know veganuary basically means vegan january i low key feel a little threatened at this point because why are they veganizing everything leave these poor months alone man kya bigad hai tumhara inhone and there are little like brown parents you know how agar aapke pet mein bhi dard hoga to your parents will tell you ki ha phone mein ghuse raho ya ye hoga and these vegans similarly will guilt trip you into believing that all of your problems in your life are because of the fact that you consume meat you confide in your vegan friend about your really sad breakup and he'll be like ha tujhe kya laga tha aur kha bada chicken okay ab thoda zyada ho raha hai i have no animosity towards vegans and i know that not everyone turns vegan because they love animals a lot of people have diet restrictions and there can be a plethora of other reasons and the most important or pertinent one in my opinion is how unethical meat production is because even though i can't go a day without eating meat i know that the meat production industry is very unsustainable meat accounts for 60 percent of all the greenhouse gases released in food production raising meat takes vast quantities of feed we convert natural habitats grasslands into agricultural feed so that we're able to feed cattle which leads to increased carbon pollution contributing to climate change these crop fields are treated with fertilizers pesticides and toxic chemicals to grow food quicker which is not just bad for the animals but also for us humans that end up consuming doubly toxic food plus livestock emit a huge amount of methane and ammonia but instead of switching to a vegan diet we should demand on sustainable feed sourcing responsible manure management and greenhouse gas emission reductions from the industry that takes all the measures to reduce costs and prioritizes quantity over quality where we can have both quantity and quality A study was done in Italy with two vegans who were found to have an environmental impact much higher than meat eaters because they ate a lot of fruits. The water, land and carbon footprint of growing and transporting such large perishable fruit meant that the environmental impact was far larger than they had expected. But even those who don't eat fruit are unknowingly increasing their carbon footprint. One study funded by the US Department of Agriculture showed that producing a kilogram of agaricus bisporus, which is like the common button chestnut or portobello mushroom, that we consume emits about 3 kg of carbon dioxide which isn't as much as red meat or chicken but a lot more than seafood most of the emissions come from the energy needed to keep the rooms where mushrooms are cultivated warm but carbon dioxide is also produced by the mushrooms themselves as they respire and grow different mushrooms will grow in different sizes and shapes depending on the carbon dioxide concentrations and at times varieties can require carbon dioxide levels that are up to 48 times higher than the outside air at times excessive carbon dioxide is often exchanged with fresh air another very popular meat substitute grown from fungi mycoprotein has some surprising environmental impacts its carbon footprint is more than 6 kg carbon dioxide per kg produced according to one study which sadly is more than all sorts of meat in a country like india jahan pe moral policing seeps into every crevice of the society marginalized communities are harmed because they look down upon for the kind of food that they eat vegan to chhodo even vegetarian food is not very easily accessible to a lot of communities in the country first of all vegan food is expensive second there are tribes that have survived on meat for centuries they come from a line of hunter gatherers and separating them from meat would be an atrocity but it happens in our country every day In 2019, a prominent Adivasi activist and professor Jitrai Hansa was arrested for a 2-year-old Facebook post defending his community's right to eat beef. Now, of course, there are political connotations to this, but the least we can do is be tolerant of each other's cuisines or food habits. We make it look like it's mostly unethical or unholy to eat meat, but a very popular source of protein for vegetarians or vegans, soya, has been very closely linked to illegal deforestation efforts mostly due to supply and demand. Instead of holding people or communities accountable, why don't we hold industries accountable for the large-scale destruction they cause while producing meat for the masses? The tribals live
live a very sustainable life as they eat what they grow, whatever is easily accessible to them. So we should learn from them and eat and let eat instead of shaming and moral policing people for what they choose to eat.